What's up? We just finished the movie. I don't know if I call it a movie. I call it a short film, maybe. <laughs> a short film. Like, not a lot happened. No. I don't feel like I learned anything. Well, like, as much as there's canon bits in it, all that extra it's stuff. <laughs> that extra stuff is like, hmm. I don't know how to feel about it. What are you doing? My nose itches. <laughs> like the inside of it, so I like squeeze it. <sighs> um. So we think that there's parts of it where we thought the audio was like off track. Mm-hmm. But we think that they just had people like revoice it, which. Because at the end credits, they gave credit to revoicing actors. That's just odd. I'm going to get really close to you. So, I don't know. Um, I thought I was going to get more of like a epic fanfic. Yeah. And... Like, it feels like one that did not finished. Yeah, so we were wondering if there was going to be a part two. Or three or four. Is any of that stuff true with like the other, like the descendant people? Mm-hmm. And so I know we talked about this before with how he has he has an heirloom essentially from all of the houses. Minus was, Griffin. Yes. Was he gonna? Do you think he was gonna try to make the sword one? That's why he went there asking for the job. Oh really? And for a place to hide uh, the diadem. Diadem. You guys, I don't know any. I don't know who Harry Potter is. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, there was one part in it was which was really cool. Um, so the part at the end where you figure out that that Gryffindor chick isn't the Gryffindor chick. It's actually Voldemort talking to the guy the whole time. And that was pretty cool. I enjoyed that. So did he kill her? Is that what we're So implying? I would assume that he killed her. Or Was is she he just take, number one? Or he mm, or he's just taking polyjuice potion. No. And she's still alive. How do you get her hair, though? She loves him. Is she evil now? I have a lot of unanswered questions. Um, I thought it was very well done for a fan-made film. <gasps> do we want to talk about what we heard? They were talking about the um, Hufflepuff descendant oh. and the Ravenclaw descendant and she referred to them as the badger and the raven. Eagle, my friend. Eagle. 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 <laughs> yeah, they said the badger and the raven. It's like, that was a big mistake. Know your houses. <laughs> what else? Um... What, oh, at the end, uh, we speculate that the one, the one guy looking in the trunk with the bones and stuff. Well, I speculated that those are Moaning Myrtle's bones, perhaps. Because they said they're the bones of a woman and they're found with a diary. So I just thought it kind of maybe went together. And then he called the one dude called the other dude Igor. So we were like, is that a young Karkaroff? I bet you it is. They were in a wintry country. Oh... Uh, what would you rate it out of 10? Maybe like a 6. Because it was good. It was well made. There was just... There wasn't a lot of storyline to it. Um, I wanted more. The whole voice thing was weird. And um, I, I need you to get Eagle correct. Oh, and the guy had the house, his um, tie was wrong. Yeah, the Hufflepuff the guy Hufflepuff had, a... had a blue and yellow tie on. And it? I also think that the Ravenclaw tie was right, not right either, but I didn't get a close look at it. Mm. Um, it's blue and because, silver, right? No. I was going to say, because people always get it confused. It's blue and bronze. We might have to end the vlogging portion. Well, for now. Bye. Bye, vlog. <gasps> was it not doing that the whole time? <gasps> We may oh. have not gotten the last of the vlog.
What to end with? Is it not great? Son of a biscuit. My bad! We didn't vlog anything! We didn't vlog anything? 15 minutes, very beginning. Sorry! Megan, you can't be mad at me. That's not my fault. That was hers. Technology is like really <laughs> My like, computer did something weird and then it wouldn't click on things. Um, I guess I I would give it um, How many golden snidgets would you give it? Out of ten? Yeah. I think I'll go with six as well because that <sighs> It's not worth the magical number seven. Ding. No, because, I mean, there were some obvious, like, those little slips. Not little slips. I mean, that's kind of like, come on. Yeah. Um, yeah, six. Six. I mean, I, su I suggest everyone go watch it. Yeah. Would you watch it again? Um, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I, I, mean think you should, I think people should see it. Yeah, you should watch it. I mean, don't it's not bad. make your own decisions and yeah. let us know. Because you might really, really, really enjoy it and give it like a nine. And three quarters. <laughs> Say hi, Iggy. We're going to eat dinner and watch Voldemort Are they here Origins of the Air. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, Sarah and Tiffany watched it the other day, and their reactions and stuff were right before this. I didn't watch any, I heard some of it, but I didn't really watch any of it, so I'm watching this with pretty fresh eyes. Yeah. Um, I've heard pretty good reviews, <clears throat> so I think that, you know, it's an indie film, so we can't expect too much in terms of budget. Um, I did hear about one major little, like piece of info that they got wrong that was kind of annoying um because like clearly you would think that they're huge fans if they like put all of this time and energy into this uh film fan film so yeah that's it good so update before we watch this movie so check out the hat that i got with my male friend beverly trim work we try to tie that into what's happening that really here but you're the best it's just a really nice accent to the space that's beautiful okay well you guys it feels not about me this is about you yes, katie chose the wrong house that's what beverly said no <laughs> <laughs> hey i married a slytherin so that's true i'll share a piece of candy with her since she married me <laughs> iggy did you like it iggy Iggy. Iggy. Iggs. Did you like the movie? What'd you think? Did you like Voldemort? That's all I got to say? That's it? <laughs> Rookie. Oh, nope. Nope. You ruined my cat snuggles. We just Do finished. We look cozy. Mm -hmm. We're pretty cozy. We just finished watching Voldemort Origins of the Air. Um, I think that I have kind of the same opinion and reaction as uh, <laughs> Tiffany and Sarah. It's pretty much the same. It's um, it was good. The visual effects were really good for a film that like barely had any budget. Yeah. The um, spells were crazy. The spell, yeah. They looked so cool. The spells looked awesome and then like the ending whenever the girl, heir of Gryffindor, transforms into Voldemort. That part was very neat. I liked the visual effects with that. I didn't see it coming. No, I did not see it coming. Oh, that well. was cool. As soon as she said at the end, she said, I didn't. And then she was like, or I did. And I was like, that's a really weird thing to say. Like, that's kind of awkward. And then and then I, I kind of thought that maybe something like that was going to happen. When her eyes turned red, I thought that she was just in cahoots with Tom. Like, she was turning oh, bad like yeah. him. Oh, yeah. That's good. But then she turned into him. Sorry, I made the camera all joggy.
best part was when Tom visited Hepzibah. Is that how you say her name? Yeah, that was that was really cool because it was like straight from the book. Yeah, first of all, because it's straight from the book, and then second, when she pulled out that locket, and like time just slowed down for him, and you could just see how he was perceiving seeing that, and like, I mean. Literally, like, his heart was probably racing, and he just couldn't believe that he finally found this locket. It was so cool. Yeah, that part was really good. It was done really well. Um, because, like, you kind of get that feeling when reading it, but, like, seeing it visually yeah, was really good. And then, um, it was interesting to see, like, I mean, the, the house elf, oh my gosh, I can't remember her name. I can't either. Bad face. Um, the house elf at Hepzibah Smith's house... Like, you know that she saw the whole thing go down from the book, um, but, like, I guess you never really visualize, like, where she was at or, like, how she saw it, because I don't think that originally Tom knew that she was... Probably not. I, I don't think that he knew that she saw anything. He just used the house elf to, um, to, oh, like, no. pin it on her. Uh, but it was, it was neat to see that, like, you know, she found this spot in the door that she could, like, watch the whole thing go down. Um, and yeah, that locket part was really cool. Yeah, that was... I'm trying to think... Also... What else I liked about it? just want to say... And the, and, and at the end, I was like, oh, of course, like, the Gryffindor is the only one who's left over to fight the Slytherin, but... Who challenged Tom first? Okay. The Hufflepuff. Sarah and Tiffany said at the end, you see a Karkaroff, which is true. And Igor. I am, I am gonna assume that that's Igor Kakarov. It just makes sense. They called him Igor. Oh, did they? At the end, yeah. Oh, okay. It was Igor Kakarov. But they said something about how they thought that the bones in the box were Myrtle. Um, I wonder, okay, so there were two times you saw a box like that. The first time there were bones in the box with the diary. I know that at least, you know, like, canon is that, well, I mean, I don't know, maybe that's a movieism. You see Myrtle getting carried out of the school. Yeah, I don't know if that's, that might be, at that part. That might, be a, <laughs> that might be a movieism. But, so I don't know if it makes sense if that's Myrtle's bones, but I mean, it might be. But I was thinking at the, um, at the end, I wonder if that was the Gryffindor girl's bones. Oh, I don't know. Because, okay, did they, that, that guy that was questioning her the whole time mm -hmm. from, I'm guessing she was in, like, Bulgaria or something. It's kind of, like, what the clothing looks like. I just thought Russia. Like. He said they were, she was at the Soviet office. Oh, Soviet, okay. Russia. Um, he looked dead in the snow. Was that him? Yeah, that was, was a him. Dude. I think it was him. I feel, okay, so, like, the one thing Sarah and Tiffany said as well is, like, they set up a lot of things, and they didn't necessarily close all of those well, Maybe there's gonna be ties. another one. Yeah, they kind of set it up to do more of these, which would be cool, but if this was it, that's kind of disappointing, because, like, I want to know more about what we learned. Like, you want to know more about the story they started. Right. Because it's a good story. I loved the whole concept of, like, all four heirs being at Griff um, being at Hogwarts at the same time. Yeah, and, cool. like, being friends and having their own little club. That was kind of cool. Um, yeah, that was neat. I want more. Yeah, give me more info. I think Who are that's you, how Joe Rowling? You think yeah. you can just do this to us? I think I want more. So, yeah, I liked it. I think I need more yeah. to understand better. All right. Till another fan movie comes out. Also, what's cool about this though is it's like video fan fiction. Yeah, I like that. I like this new era. Keep it going. That concept is cool. Yeah. So there it is. Voldemort, yep. the Origins of the Air. I enjoyed it. Yep. I want more. Yep. I want other stories like visually. Marauders. Somebody make a Marauders movie. Yeah. We will Let's do it. advertise the crap out of that for you. <laughs> do it. Okay. Yep. Signing off.